Spawn, customize, and save your loadouts with Pig Jet GUI script for planes and helicopters. We are on the Pig Jet Spawn GUI GitHub page. Now, my friend Pig13BR let me know about his script release and linked me his GitHub page. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to download the script and install it and set it up in your mission. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this green box here that says code. You're going to click on the arrow and you're going to go down to where it says download to zip. Click on that and you're going to get a save browse box option. I'm going to save it into my new videos folder. Once you save the file, you're going to go to that file, which is this here, and you're going to extract it. Before we extract it, we're going to go back into the editor and create a little mission so we can move all the extracted files into it. So let's go do that right now. Okay, we're going to build a little mission, and I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. So we're going to start with a pilot. This will be our player. Next, we're going to go to props and then we're going to put down a helipad and we'll just make it a square now you don't have to do this this part the helipad part I recommend having some sort of marker so you know where the plane or the helicopter is going to spawn it for the most important part of the script what you need is a marker so we'll go to F6 markers and then what we're going to do is we're going to use a system marker and we're going to set it as empty and we're going to place it right here. Let's edit the marker and we need to name the marker spawn underscore jet. That's the exact name based on what the script requires, spawn jet. So just hit OK. Now just keep in mind that whatever marker you use, notice the little mark on the marker itself in the circle. If you face that in the direction that you want the plane or the helicopter to spawn or face, that's how it's going to face. So we're going to put that right there. So next, we're going to just save it. So it creates a mission folder. And we're going to name this pig underscore jet underscore GUI. All right, now that we have our mission saved, we're going to go to the scenario tab at the top and then down to open scenario folder and we're going to install the script all right here we are in the mission folder of the mission that we just created let's go to my new videos and we're going to just drag the zip file so when you get the zip file all you need to do is just open it drag the contents into your mission folder you can close this and delete that now what you need to do is in this folder where it says main you need to open that and just copy it all or highlight it all and just drag it into your mission folder and you can just delete this and you should be left with this now just one thing I want to point out this right here is a mission itself it's a test mission if you want to use it it's on the VR map but uh, for it to work you need to put all these files not this into here and for the mission to work it's basically the same mission as that we just built so it's up to you but I'm gonna delete that because we already have a mission these are all the script files that you need and uh, before we get into the mission and I demonstrate how this works let's go over the the scripts here we have a readme so if you double click that and open it up it's a simple readme but let's go over a couple of the scripts real quick this script right here, interplayer local. Now this actually has two features into it. This one, this code here enables the GUI or the menu for you to choose what aircraft you want and customize the loadout for it. And this is just a view distance. Let's go to the aircraft preset, which is going to be the most important one. So here, this is where you're going to put all the class names of the planes or helicopters that you want to spawn. I'll show you how this works. All right, as you can see on the screen, it says open jet menu. And then if you scroll your action menu, you'll get change view distance. Now, just a note about this option. This has a certain range based on how far away you are 
to that marker, which is pretty far. So you can see how it comes up. So just keep that in mind when you're building your mission. And so let's open the jet menu. So this is a GUI for the jet menu. At the top you'll have a list of airplanes that you could choose from. So let's just choose the A-164 Wipeout CAS. Now these planes here are all default vanilla planes. If you add more from mods and you have those mods loaded, then those planes will show up in, in that list. Now here you have all the pylons for this particular plane. The number of pylons will vary based on the plane or the helicopter that you've chosen. And then for each pylon you'll have the, the types of ammunition that you could set for each of those pylons that are available for that particular plane. On the right you have existing presets for the plane so you could set AA, AT, CAS, cluster, whatever you want and each plane and helicopter will have their own specific presets for those. You can also change the angle. So this plane has 10 pylons and if you chose another plane like this plane you'll have four specific pylons. As you can see, the plane has four pylons and then it has a bay with different uh, things you could put there as well. And then you have this plane, which has 10 pylons like the A-10. And then you have the Shikra, which has six pylons. As you can, you can kind of count them here. And then stuff that you could put on the bay as well. So we'll just go with the a10 for now. So you choose a pylon, you click on the spot, first pylon, whichever pylon you want to start with. So the ammunition here, as you can see, it'll give a brief description of what each one of these ammunition items, what they are, and then here we'll just put this, and so we have a pylon there, it'll give a description, AA missile, and then you want to go to the opposite, if you want to do that, and you could choose something similar. So we'll get two of the same missiles, AA missile, AA missile, and then we'll go to pylon number two, and this one we'll put some unguided rockets, so we'll put 19 Hydra, put that there, and we'll do this on the opposite side as well. And we'll go over here and add some macers, add some macers to that side, and then we'll go to this side, add scalpel three and we'll go to this side do the same thing and then in the middle ones will be basically under the plane itself the body of the plane and we'll put a couple GBU 12s for that you can kind of see it showing up there there you go you could also spawn the plane but you could also create a, a loadout save your loadout so let's name this cas underscore loadout 2 since there's already a cas so we'll just name it that and we'll save the preset now if you go to spawn this this is what's going to happen the loadout is not going to be on the plane and the only problem with this is if you open the jet menu again to try to access it and add the loadout it's not going to work it'll say something is obstructing the spawn point plane spawn. So you basically have to get rid of the plane, move it out of the way. So we'll just move the plane out of the way. Alright, let's try this again. And open the jet menu. We'll choose our plane. And we'll choose the loadout. To load it. And then we'll just spawn the plane. So now the plane that we chose with our loadout has spawned. And this is our loadout. We got macers. You got the scalpels. You've got the 19 rockets for each pod there. Let's go back into the editor. And I'm going to show you how to add planes to the list. To add more planes to planes and helicopters that you can choose from, you're going to go to aircraft preset.sqf. Just open that up. In this array here, it'll be under aircrafts. Your array is after this bracket. So everything here between these two brackets, this bracket and this bracket, is the array. 
here is the title you don't have to do anything like this this is basically a commented out wording so you could just add a title and then the class name so this is the title for the class names for two blue four planes this is the title for the vanilla 04 planes right here and these are the class names then you have a mod Pook Soviet pack and here's all the class names for the planes for that then you have another title here this is the class names for the fur pla planes and uh, to add to this all you need to do is you could add planes up here if you want or just put them on the bottom it doesn't matter what you want to do is just put your cursor after the the quote and just hit enter we'll add some planes this will be a title of what, what we're going to add so let's go back to the editor and choose what planes that we want so to choose what planes we want i'm going to let you know that i have a few mods loaded i have cup vehicles which will have planes and helicopters and i have rhs and i have uh, secret weapons reloaded so let's choose a plane let's choose some cup planes and we'll choose the a149 griffin so basically when you want to add planes all you do is put down the plane that you want what you're going to do from there is you're going to click on the plane so it's highlighted so you see it kind of highlighted here and like that right click it and then go down to where it says log and then go down to where it says log classes to clipboard click that when the menu disappears then delete the plane and let's go back to the script all right back in the script so this is going to be cup planes so this is just the title this is not going to actually add the plane that we just logged so what you do from here is just hit enter and you're going to add a quote and then press Control v and that will paste the class name of the plane that we just logged so from here you just add a quote again so basically for every class name that you log you need to surround it with quotes you need the quotes on both ends now if you're going to add more planes after this then you just add a comma and then we'll go one line down and we'll add another plane let's add a helicopter from rhs we will add this helicopter and so all we do here is just again click on it so that's highlighted and then right click and then log class to clipboard delete the helicopter and let's go back to the script and this one's RHS so we're gonna make a new title we will put RHS and then we'll hit enter and then we'll add the quote and then press control V end it with a quote and then add a comma and then we're gonna put something else we'll add a World War II plane so we'll go one line down again, we'll add two lines, and then we'll go secret weapons reloaded. And we'll go one line down, and let's go back in the game and get the class name for that. For this one, we go to blue four, and then to planes, and we'll go to the JU-87 Stuka Gross Siren. This is actually the pl plane from my mod, so for this again, you do is just click on the plane make sure it's highlighted green there right click it go to log log class the clipboard when it disappears delete the plane you're all set then we go back to the script and you put a quote this is for the class name press control v and then you end quote and then if that's going to be your last plane or helicopter then you don't need to put a comma it just has to be at the end like that then you just save it and let's go back in the mission and test it out spawn these planes and helicopters in the jets menu and we'll go to the top and as you can see here the griffin that we added mi-28n and the ju-87 stuka cross siren all have shown up so we'll just choose the griffin change the angle and of course we have our presets for that so we'll just choose what we want to put on here let's put the um, let's see air to air it seems like the air to air is on the end this one with the scalpel put the uh, the macer macer yep there we go 
Then here we'll put scalpel. And there you go. We could save that loadout, but I'm just going to spawn it. And let's take a look. So we have anti-air. Scalpel. Macer. The same thing. Pretty cool. Alright, let's try another plane. And this time we'll choose the MI-28N. Here we have the helicopter. And this one has a lot of different options to choose from, but we're going to choose our own loadouts. So you can see based on the pylons what's available. So it only has four pylons. So we'll choose from there. And you got a, a lot to choose from. Wow. Let's go with Pulse Air Support. Like that. Spawn that. Alright. Alright, let's try this again with the next plane. Open the jet menu. And this last one is a World War II plane. And change the angle. Now for this, this doesn't have any presets. But you can change what will be on the pylons. So we'll add 250 pound bombs. And a bomb in the middle, which will make 500 kilogram. And we'll spawn that. And if you see here, all right. Let's add another plane. We're gonna go to O4, and then we'll go to planes. And we'll choose an Su-25. We'll log its classes and then we'll go to the script and what we do here is we go to where it says RHS we hit enter and then we press control V add your quotes and just remember that each entry needs a comma after it if there's going to be another class name below it. So make sure you put that, otherwise the menu won't load. So just like that, and then we'll just save that and go back in the game. And all right, let's open the jet menu spawn. And let's go to the top where the planes are. And here's our plane in the list here. And let's change the angle. You can see a lot of different presets. We could even choose between chaff and flare. So let's choose that. Wow. Alright guys, hope you liked that. What I'll do is I'll link the GitHub page in the description of the video. That way you guys can download the script, install it, and use it in your missions. And I want to thank you guys for watching.